Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday, November 14th. I hope you guys all had a good Friday the 13th yesterday. Hope you guys spent some quality time with Jason Voorhees. And today I am just out taking a little walk and I'm at a different park today. I've never shown this park before in any videos. I'm here with the star of the show that's Miss Hannah right there. Today I'm at Cliffside Park in Caledonia and this is a park I grew up at. When I was a little kid I spent a lot of time here. Haven't been out this way in a while so I thought I'd take a little walk out here get some exercise and uh, get a little footage for you guys. You can see some of my old stomping grounds out here. It's a little bit brisk today. It's about mid thirties. There's some nice frost on the grass this morning. And <coughs> it's a good time to get out because uh, I'd been sitting in front of the TV for about a day and a half playing Fallout 4. And the game is fantastic. It's a great game. Thought I would get out and get some fresh air though. The time is about 4 p.m. Central Time and it's been getting dark early. And I hope that the quality of the video picks up because it looks like it's a little dark here on my end as I'm looking into the screen here. It looks pretty dark, but hopefully that'll lighten up a little bit for uh on the YouTube video. Just thought I'd take you guys along with me as I walk through the some of these beautiful nature trails out here. Hannah says hello. We had a pretty good Friday the 13th last night. I watched I watched the first Friday the 13th movie. And then I watched a Blu-ray called Dismembering Christmas. Which I thought was a pretty good movie. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments what you guys watched to celebrate Friday the 13th if you guys watched any horror films or what you guys were up to last night. I do want to give a contest update. We are now less than one week away from the last day of the contest, which will be November 20th, which will be next Friday, or this coming up Friday, rather. So there's uh, six days left. And I did get 14 entries so far, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, I'm, I'm going to give a couple shout outs to along the way here as I'm walking. I brought a list of the 14 people who did enter the contest so far and I'll shout them out as well. I think my first shout out will be to a good friend of mine on YouTube here. His name is Warlock. His name is Pete. And uh, he's got an amazing collection. He's a, He likes to collect horror figures and he's a horror guy. And uh, he, I subbed to him a while ago and then he took kind of a hiatus. He stopped making videos for a while. I think he got busy with real life as we all do at times. <laughs> Excuse me. 
and uh, he took a short break, but now he's back and he's uh, said he's going to dedicate himself to making more videos, which is good for us. So I'm going to leave Warlock's link down below. I want you guys to go ahead and make sure you uh, click his link, check out his videos, and give him a sub. Told him I'd give him a shout out, and he, it's a well deserved shout out too because uh, I think he's under 100 subs. I'd like to see him get over 100 and then take off, take off like a rocket ship, and just get like maybe a few hundred here before you know, before Christmas or something. That'd be great. Another shout out is for uh, Blu-ray Lantern, who is, uh, his real name is Ryan. So I'm gonna give Ryan a shout out. He's a great guy, he's a great YouTuber. And he has ties to the great state of Wisconsin, which that's where I live. And uh, I believe he said his wife, his wife came from Wisconsin and now they live in Texas. So he said his wife is a Packer fan, so that's a plus. So I'm gonna leave Blu-ray Lanterns link down below. Many of you are probably already subbed to Blu-ray Lantern, but if you're not, please check the link below, click it, check out his videos, give him a give him a sub, give him some thumbs up. I just watched his latest video, his Friday the 13th collection, which was amazing. I really love watching those videos. And if you guys haven't had a chance to check mine out, I posted a Friday the 13th collection video yesterday, so if you guys want to go ahead and click check that one out, I would appreciate that. If it sounds like I'm a little bit out of breath, I am because I've been kind of... Uh, Dealing with the sinus, been having a sign. I don't know if it's a sinus infection or whatever, but having a hard time breathing out of my nose. So it's causing me to be a mouth breather, and it makes me sound like I'm breathing like Bigfoot out here in the woods. So I apologize about that. I hope this is coming out. Um, this is really a beautiful woods here. Beautiful park and it's, I have a lot of memories out here. It seems like it's a little bit gray. It's getting dark earlier and earlier. And I wanted to uh, get some footage for you guys just to kind of share some of my experiences and stories with you guys. I'll probably come back out here again over time on a different day when it's a little more sunny or what have you, but hopefully for now this will come out all right. I have to be careful because there are uh, there's wolves in these woods here and I think I just saw one up on the ridge over here. And I'm not worried about myself I just don't want Hannah to jump in. I could have swore I just saw a wolf up on the ridge up there. I don't have any protection. I don't have any uh, pepper spray or, or anything like that. There are wolves and there are uh, black bear in the area sometimes, but it's quite rare for black bear in Wisconsin. That's a little more north in Wisconsin. Okay. gonna kind of hang here for a second guys just to kind of let the area clear up there there's miss Hannah she's kind of looking the other way she got a new harness so she's feeling a little cocky today she got that blaze orange 
It's a little bit loose on her, but I, I bought it like that purposely, so she has a little room to grow yet. I don't want it to get too snug. I'd rather have it a little loose than too snug, so. She seems to like it. Okay, we'll continue on here with the little journey. Once I get up to the top of this hill here, I will go ahead and start naming off some of the guys and gals who have entered into the contest, my 500 sub contest. She's making it look easy climbing up this hill. Okay, here we are at the top. Not too shabby for an old man. I still got it, guys. <laughs> Tell you guys a story about this tree right here. It's all, it's old and dying now, but back in the early to mid 1980s this tree right here had a branch right here that was that grew out kind of went up like this like the letter Y right there and some of the older kids in the neighborhood tied a rope to that branch and they called it the Tarzan swing and what they would do is they would stretch the rope take it up to the top of the hill over here turn around, get a running start, and then launch themselves over toward the river down there. And then in the meantime, some other kids built like a bonfire down in here. So <laughs> essentially you would swing right over the top of the bonfire and a lot of kids would come back here and drink beer and swing on the rope. <laughs> so they used to call that the Tarzan swing. And wouldn't you know, every year, somebody would get hurt. And then the cops would come back in here. And they would cut the rope down. Well, eventually they just got tired of cutting the rope down. They ended up cutting off that branch. And it looks like now there's hardly anything left of that tree. It's about to fall. But, uh, yeah, that was a long, long time ago. Okay, I brought some paperwork with me here, which I jotted some names down of people who have entered the contest. I'm gonna start naming them off right now, just to kind of thank everybody for taking the time to support my channel and uh, to join in on this uh, celebration of reaching 500 subs. I appreciate it, guys. And I'm very glad very proud of the people I've got a chance to meet on here and become friends with. And without being too sappy or anything like that, I I do this all for you guys. I mean, it's making videos is, is fun, but I have more fun meeting people and interacting with people than I do making videos. So to me, um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even be doing this. So once again, thank you guys for taking the time to make the videos and for supporting me so first guy who made a video this time was blu-ray evan and evan is one of the best guys you'll ever meet on here very nice kid and very positive comments all the time and just very quick to support people he's a good kid all, all around great guy good youtuber has very good videos and um I know most of you guys are already subbed to Blu-ray Evan, but if you're not, please check out his channel, give him a sub. And the, the next guy who made a video is a good friend of mine named Jordan. His channel is Given Up 96. 
he's been a big supporter of mine too and he was sub to me even since before I was making videos he was making videos before me and I was sub to him and he subbed me back and we we used to communicate back and forth through you know messages on YouTube and then we became Facebook friends and then we text each other now we send each other gifts in the mail from time to time great guy good buddy of mine so thank you Jordan and of course my other good buddy on here I have I, I think I have quite a few good buddies on here but Sammy Faligar is one of my best buddies on here if not my very best buddy and he made a video he actually made two videos because he, he felt a little silly he said to make a video asking or telling people what um, additions he wanted on his wish list which I I didn't mean to make anybody uncomfortable with this contest I just I thought it would be fun to um, show off some of the you know better additions that you have in your collection and which ones you wanted to get just to give some other people some ideas of what they may want to get so I don't think we're gonna go that way come on Anna so Sammy thank you for your continuing support and friendship as always I really appreciate it and Sammy was the main one that got me to start making videos in the first place so if I make too many videos you can go to his channel and blame him <laughs> so <clears throat> oh. feeling it today guys that was kind of a uh, steep little hill right there okay and uh, let's see who's number four that is celluloid terror Seth who has an amazing channel big time horror fan and uh, he's fairly new to my channel and I'm fairly new to his but I really like what I see so far I think he's a great youtuber and we've been commenting on each other's videos lately so that's cool <laughs> so it's good to know you Seth and thank you for your support thanks for entering hope you win something okay the number five there's another great guy in here. These are all great people. But uh, Charles is one of my favorite people. And I believe I have the correct pronunciation now. And I think it's pronounced the Hokkaido Gaijin. I listened to his video and he pronounced it. So I believe the, pr the proper pronunciation is the H Hokkaido Gaijin. So I liked your video, Charles. I loved it. And... Uh, Thank you very much for your support. And I hope you win something. It's really beautiful out here, guys. And I'm out of breath, so I'm kind of taking a break. <laughs> it's starting to get quite dark, though. I can feel it kind of swallowing us up here in the woods okay so thank you Charles again the next guy is the 13th Wolfman and I I admire him I think he's a great youtuber I was surprised to see him enter my contest I didn't I mean in a good way because I, I really like his channel and when I saw that he entered it made me really happy so thank you for that Thomas and uh, I really do like your channel. I like your taste in movies, and you're very easy to listen to. You're, uh, you have a good approach. I, I like your channel a lot, and you're a great guy. You're very popular on YouTube, so thank you for taking a few minutes to uh, enter my contest. It means a lot to me. The next one is a guy that he's, uh, he's been sub to me now for a few months. 
and we've become Facebook friends. And uh, he's purchased some Scream Factory posters and stuff for me, so I believe I know the pronunciation of his name now, too. The first couple times I said his name on YouTube, he told me it was wrong, so I, I apologize for that. And his name is Thomas. Let me see if I can remember how he said it. I was pronouncing it Peisinger, but he said it's... I believe he said it was Pisinger. Thomas Pisinger, sir. I hope that's correct. And Thomas was a sergeant in the U.S. Army, so thank you for that, sir. Thank you for protecting our country and uh, everything about that. And, uh, you know, you deserve a lot more subs, so I hope you do get that. And I will shout you out from time to time, hoping that you'll get more action on your channel. So thank you, Thomas, and I hope you do win something. And let's see. The next one is my buddy Pete, who I gave a shout out earlier. That's Warlock. He has a lot of horror figures and a lot of different horror DVDs and stuff like that, box sets. And he's fun to watch. He's fun to listen to. Go check him out. And another guy who I admire a lot. He's a, a really, really nice guy. And uh, I, I've been a fan of his far longer than he has been of mine. I was subbed to him for probably like a year or two now, I think. And he has recently subbed me back. He didn't know I was making videos, I think, which I only just started making videos seven months ago. So, And that is Mr. Tony of the Dead. And I, I love his channel. I, I think he's a great guy. He always takes time to respond to every comment on his videos. And... I know that's not very easy to do, and he has way more views and comments than I do, so, but he does it, he keeps up with everybody, and he's a big horror fan, horror freak like I am, and he has a beautiful wife who, they do the Tony and Shayna show from time to time, that's fun to watch, I like to watch them interact together. So that is Mr. Tony of the Dead, thank you for entering, sir. Um, the next guy is another good friend of mine who has been subbed to me for a long time. And he was subbed to me even since before I was making videos. And his name is N. Reddy, who is Brian. And uh, very good guy, very, very nice guy. He always wants to, he's very eager to support people. Always leaves comments. Has great content on his own channel. Just an all-around great YouTuber. So thank you, Brian, appreciate that. Okay, where are we at here now? Okay, here's a, a guy that's fairly new to my channel for since last summer, I think. And I really enjoy his content too. His name is TDell86 and his name is Terry. And he's a really, really cool guy. And uh, I wanna urge you all to please go sub him. Hannah, come here. Shit, I gotta get away from the cliff. Come on, this way. Just wanted to show you guys Lake Michigan really quick. She almost jumped over, so I gotta get out of here. Jesus. So anyway, I was on T Dell 86 Terry. Really, really nice guy, great guy. And uh, he's got a great collection. And I like to interact with him. So thank you, Terry. I hope you win something and Thanks for your continued support and your friendship. It means a lot to me. And then of course we have Mr. Snickers, who is Bill. It's Mr. Snickers 21 to be exact. He's a great guy. One of my favorite people on YouTube. And I've known him for a long time too. I think I became friends with him through Donnie, who is Cinemaniac 77. And that was a long time ago. I think I've been friends with Bill, Mr. Snickers 21 for at least a couple years now. And we are now Facebook friends too, so we get to talking about different editions and football teams. And he's a Patriots fan. I'm a Packers fan, so two pretty good teams. I mean, the Patriots are the elite team. They're the best team in all of football. Green Bay is... Uh, they're, 
they're one of the better teams, but they've been playing not the greatest lately, so hopefully they can turn that around, but enough about that. Thank you, Bill, for your friendship. I appreciate that. I hope you do win something. And let me see here. I have uh, two more. And that is Geek Girl Geekgasm. And I believe she said her name was Cassandra, but I wasn't sure. So Geek Girl Geekgasm, if you could comment below, let me know what your first name is. I apologize about that. I tried to learn it. I watched your videos and I, I couldn't hear you say what your name was. So I don't remember if you did say what your name was, but I do appreciate uh, your constant support. And this is two contests in a row that you got in. And I really appreciate that because I love, I love watching your videos and it's fun watching you and Padfoot. And uh, so I, I appreciate it. Look forward to many, many years of interactions with you guys, as well as all of you out there who are watching this. And the last one so far is Matt, and that is you and your horror movies. Matt is a great guy, very well-spoken, very knowledgeable about his horror movies. And uh, very, very good collection, as all of you guys do. I mean, everybody has a special collection in their own way, you know. And um, I just, I like watching what you guys pick up, and what you guys plan on getting. And that's, that's basically why I had this contest the way I did. I wanted to make it easy to enter. You know show your five favorite items and then what five items do you want i just kind of want to you know hear from you guys getting in get in your heads and see what you guys are planning on getting and all that stuff so and that is that for now i'll just kind of uh i'll be quiet now for a little bit and let you guys check out this nature before i start heading back wanted to give a shout out to it's one of my best buddies on here that's Dennis Dennis reviews I hope that he gets in I know he's been a busy man lately he went to the weekend of hell or weekend I think that's what it was called weekend of hell or weekend of horror in Germany last week and there he met Kasha from Kasha Kasha's Wonderland Asha in Wonderland. Oh, there's some people over here. Head back. And uh, hopefully he'll have time to make a video. But if he can't, I totally understand that. And uh, Dennis went to Germany with his buddy Ricardo. And there they met Kasha, and the three of them looked like they had a blast. It looked like such a, a great time. And I'm glad you had a great time, Dennis. You deserve it, man. You, you worked hard, and you got to uh, go and meet Kasha and pick up some really nice additions to your collection. It was fun to watch. Hopefully I can make it out there someday. I'll put that on my bucket list. To go to Germany for a horror convention. That'd be awesome. I 
gonna start heading back guys but I'm gonna take you with me till I get to my car which is like probably about a 10 minute walk from here so I doubt many people made it this far anyway I wanted to do kind of a different video as I was giving shout outs so I'm not just sitting there looking straight down at stuff thought maybe I can give you guys something to look at in the background while I was giving shout outs and to give Hannah and I some exercise that we need. When I get back, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna probably get right back to the Fallout 4. Bought the game on Friday, yesterday, and I ordered the hardcover strategy guide last week and it came today in the mail. So I may do a little unboxing video for you guys to show you the book in the game. You can make like a 10 minute video, just kind of flip through the pages. video is already over a half hour long and on my uh, my YouTube statistics page it says that people only watch my videos for about four hours or I'm sorry four minutes and 30 seconds usually my videos are 10 minutes or longer so people aren't even getting halfway through my videos apparently so I doubt that too many people made it this far into the video at 32 minutes now if they're only watching the first four and a half minutes. That's a little bit discouraging. I gotta mix it up a little bit. I gotta find a way to get you guys to watch, make it more enjoyable for the watcher, for the viewer out there. I'll take any suggestions. If you guys wanna give me some constructive criticism, go ahead, hit me with it. Comment below, tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. How can I keep your guys' attention for more than four and a half minutes? Believe me, you guys won't offend me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have asked. I really would like to know what you guys would like to see or what you guys, uh, any suggestions you guys have for my channel. You can do it without being rude, too. I mean, there's, there's ways of being, of giving constructive criticism without being a total a-hole, too, so. She sees something over there. Here she comes. I gotta get the hell out of here. It's, uh, it's getting dark and there's some weird things going on over here. This is the same area where I saw, thought I saw a wolf, so I'm just gonna kind of walk quick through here, get to my car and we'll call it a day. But yeah, if you guys want to leave a comment below, let me know what you did on your Friday the 13th, which, you know, what you guys had uh, planned for the weekend. And don't be afraid to uh, leave some comments below about what you'd like to see in the future on my channel or what I could be doing better or what I'm doing wrong, anything like that. So. I'm gonna have to listen to this video back. I know there was a lot of leaves crunching and a lot of uh, huffing and puffing by me. I may not upload this one. I may scrap this and then uh, just record footage on a different day. 
you guys are seeing it right now, then obviously I changed my mind and I did upload it, but we'll see when I get home. Sky looks really beautiful to the north here. I'm going to be turning north here in a second. You guys can see the different. I hope it shows up. There's a lot of different pastel colors like pinkish, bluish, purplish. Looks really nice. I do love the state of Wisconsin. The only complaint I have about Wisconsin is the winter is way too long, but all in all, I will not complain. her favorite thing to do. If it was up to Hannah, she would walk through the woods every day, all day, just smelling different trails and tracks. And and she's a good girl. I've been lucky with her. Very smart, very easy to train. No problems with her. She's got her little pointer leg going. I noticed when she comes out, in the, she is part of the Pointer family, she's a Weimariner, and when she comes out into the woods, she gets that right leg tucked in, she does that point, Let's see if she can do it for you guys here. They're known to be well, they're known to be very good hunting dogs, but I'm not a hunter, so she's just a family pet. She was gonna tuck that leg in, it looked like. Yep, there she goes. She did it for you guys. I don't know if you could see it. But she yeah, she tucked that right leg up. She did a little point for you guys. And I wanna apologize about the shaky cam because this this ground out here is very uneven. Feels like the temperature is getting a little warmer, so I wonder if we're going to get some fog, maybe thunderstorms tonight. It's been very chilly all day, and now it feels like it's getting warmer. We're almost to the car, guys. But maybe another 100 yards will be there. I want to thank you guys for spending some time with me today. Thanks for coming along on the walk. And don't be afraid to comment below. We could talk about anything you want to. It's always an open, open door discussion down below on any of my videos. It doesn't matter what you guys want to talk about. And if you guys are interested in um, adding me on Facebook, I will leave that link down below. As well as, I'm going to leave Warlock's link down below. Because I want him to get more subs. And uh, I'm going to leave Blu-ray Lantern's link down below. And... Uh, I try not to leave too many links per video because I feel like that overloads people. You know, if you put 15 or 20 links down below, I don't think too many people are gonna go through and add all 15 people. So I always felt like if you leave a couple, it's easier for people to handle. So here's the parking lot coming up over here. On the Lone Amigo in the parking lot, there was a SUV when I first got here. It had Illinois plates on it. It's 
probably the mob dumping a body back in his woods back here. And I'm kidding. Or am I? You never know. Okay guys, it's uh, 40 minutes if you made it this far. I want to congratulate you and thank you. And I will catch you guys. Maybe I'll make a video later to show my Fallout 4 stuff. But other than that, uh, I probably will make a weekly update video. I didn't get too many things this week, but maybe I'll do that. Okay guys, take care and I'll catch you next time.